All right, survivors, welcome back to Unturned. Here with Officer Nate Lever in Russia on his bike tour across Russia from one end to the other to get back to Germany where he works in uh, Berlin as a police officer. So we got to get him back home before his, uh, his vacation ends. So let's get started. We don't have much time because poor Nate here has an empty stomach or will be empty soon. And we got to go get some food. So hop up. Let's go. In fact, let me show you what we have. We don't have much here. I think he's eaten everything. Uh, we do have these seeds, but I've decided to not grow any food in this series. I kind of want to keep it to uh, just the food that we can scavenge and find in the world. I think that makes it more interesting and adds a bit of a challenge. Although this isn't really like a super hardcore challenge. Um, I think growing food instantly just makes it too easy. And not very interesting. So we're going to rely on stuff that we can find out in the world. And we are down to 18% foodie in the belly. So we better get a move on. Now we do have a fishing pole. So we can go down to the coastline down there. And do some fishing. So why don't we do that? Hop on the bike. I'm driving. Whee! <laughs> Alright, hold on. Because I want to go off this cliff and see if uh, we can get any air. Let me uh, let me put the pedal to the metal here. Put the pedal to the metal, Nate. Woo! Oh, wow, did it make it? No! Oh, we almost made it. Ow, ow, kids, don't try this at home without a helmet. There we go, we're good. Nate's best feature is his hard helmet, so... Uh, his hard helmet, his hard head. <laughs> oh, look, another bike! Another bike, and the bike didn't take any damage flying off that cliff. That's amazing. Oh, sweet, and this one's in better shape. Same color, though. I was hoping for a red bike or a yellow bike or a blue bike, but there is actually only one color bike, and it's... It's pretty boring, I gotta say. White. But you know what? We'll take this one because it is in better shape. All right, let's go get some food. Now, hopefully, we can find some food here and eat it right quick, and then we can go fishing. But if we don't find anything here, <coughs> then we'll just have to go fishing right away. <coughs> get wrecked. Um, but you know what? These beaches are usually just loaded with soft drinks. Yes, look at them all. Apple juice, apple juice, soda. What is this one here? Yucky. I'm not going to take that one. Oh, Pepsi is pretty good. All high fructose syrupy drinks. That'll rot your teeth and your mind. Um, but it'll keep you alive, right? Right, 50%. Yeah, we can take that. Look at that. I can even be that choosy. I can leave the good stuff behind. Look at all the drinks we have. So many drinks. Um, in fact, why don't I just take that one? I'll drink that one right now. Save on space. Oh, that didn't do anything. <laughs> That's okay. Just keep drinking until we get up to 100%. All right, perfect. So, uh, that's it? That's all the zombies, huh? All right. Let's um, let's go fishing right now. We're gonna need the food, and then uh, and then we'll go check out this lighthouse. Down to thirteen percent. I think we should fish right now. <laughs> no, didn't think I was gonna make that. Well, I thought I was gonna make it. That's why I tried. But I like to climb up on this rock and fish off this rock. That looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, get that fishing pole out. So I don't have much of a fishing skill. In fact, I didn't put any points in fishing. But fishing really just determines, the fishing skill anyway, just determines how quickly the fish bite when you, uh, after you cast. So it's just a matter of sitting here and waiting for the fish to get interested in your little wormy or whatever the heck is on the hook. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here we go. Got one. Got one. Three experience. Perfect. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, it's a little goldfish. It's goldie. Hardly a, a bite. One little fish stick. It's not going to give us much food. We need a big one. Let's catch a big one. And we get three experience with every fish we catch. That's pretty nice. So I apologize for the lack of unturned videos. And well, for, for that matter, any video. Oh, another one. Did I get him? Oh, that's a big one. Raw bass. Sweet. All right, let's cook them up right now while we're sitting here doing nothing. Get a fire going right here in this little rock. And I think we're going to need to upgrade our cooking, aren't we? Oh, dang it, we are. Cooking one. Uh-oh. Only have 12 experience. Oh, boy. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to keep fishing. We get three experience per fish we catch. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die of uh, starvation before we get up to 20. We're going to need a few more fish. Anyway, I was saying, I, um, yeah, I haven't uploaded any videos recently because I lost power on Sunday night. We had a storm come through here. And it was kind of a short storm, but very high winds and super powerful and knocked a lot of trees down. In my state and the neighboring states and pretty much 
all along the northeast of the U.S. and uh, I don't know, something like 300,000, 400,000 people without power or something. What do we get? Our Rod Trout looks good. Um, so we just got power back yesterday. That was Thursday, Thursday night. So it was about five days, just about. Um, so yeah, really long time without power and I couldn't really work, obviously. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But here we are back in action in Russia with Officer Nate Lever on our bike tour and I'm super excited for the series. And in fact, I was going to do a uh, another Russian series today. Did I get him? I got him. Goldfish. Um, I was going to do something with the, the new train that Nelson added last Friday. But um, I decided to hold off on that because I think he might release an update today at some point. Today is Friday. And uh, if he does, and it might have some enhancements to the train, maybe some new cars to attach to it or something. Because as far as I know, it's just the engine, the train engine, and, and no other cars to be attached to it. So I'm hoping that he releases some more with that today. And then uh, I'll make a video of that. All right, we're good. Let's get our uh, cooking skill up. We can do it now. Where is it? Eh. Cooking is uh, 20, so up to 21. Yeah, perfect. Put the pole down, and let's cook up this fish in the nick of time. Where's my cooking? There they are. Trout, minnow, goldfish, goldie, bass. And eat them all. Mm-mm-mm. We're down to 3%. That was perfect timing. Give me a little goldie. Just a tiny little fish stick. Yeah, that wasn't much. It's like eating a sardine, 10%. Here we go. Minnow. What's a minnow do for you? Ah, uh, was that 15? That's not bad. How about a raw bass? Woo! All right, 30. Now we're talking up to 87% from our fitch, and I think that's good enough. Let's book it! Woo! Uh, oh. <laughs> I gotta work on my jump. All right, let's get over to this lighthouse. See what's up there. Oh my gosh, yeah. Gotta work on our park parkour skill. This guy's not quite as good as Sneaky Smurf, that's for sure. Sneaky <clears throat> could jump, man. Whew, like a leopard. <laughs> and now, don't really need it. <laughs> Hello, just want to check the inside of this lighthouse, please. No quarrel with you. Ooh, hockey stick, that's pretty cool. What do we got here? Oh, is a fridge in here? Another kitchen knife and a rake and binox. All right, now, I think there might be zombies up here sometimes, so this could be dangerous. But danger is our middle name. And I think there might be some ranger loot up here. So maybe a gun? That would be nice. Oh, the wolf is definitely a zombie. I heard him hissing. He doesn't see us. Oh, there we go, crawler. Ah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Bye! Have a nice trip. See you next fall. This is where you need like a Molotov cocktail. Just drop it on him. Dang it, don't have one. Propane tank. Ooh, throw that down. Oh, there's no Ranger gear up here. It's tape. What is this? Yeah, book. What the heck am I gonna do with a stinking book? All that. Look at this garbage. Nothing on that. Wow, that's a rip off. Let me tell you. All right, well, I guess we're gonna jump down and get a move on. This is the old Liberator. Oh, I think it's decorated with Halloween stuff. Like, everybody's wearing costumes, and yeah, I think there's candles out. So that's the Halloween update. And I'm really bombed out that I missed the Halloween updates. So not, not just Unturned, but for all the games. I love Halloween so much, but I could not record. We did Halloween in the dark. We were sitting outside in front of my house with a fire pit going, giving out candy by the side of the road. Uh, it was super dark. The whole neighborhood was out, obviously. So it was uh, it was pretty it was pretty awesome, actually. I gotta say it was really dark, really spooky for the kids, which was fun, I'm sure. Oh, was my was my bike? Did I? Oh, I left it over there. Okay. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to do any of the Halloween content. And so many games have Halloween content added. It would have been fun. Now, you're the one that was up with the tower? Didn't take any damage falling, huh? There's a car over there, but this is a bike tour. We're not doing cars, remember? Not doing the cars. Uh, let's see. What should we do? Let's break down this kitchen knife. 
The hockey stick's actually a pretty good weapon. Yeah, you know what? This isn't Canada. It's Russia. Let's stick with the knife. It's 96%. I'm not even going to fix it. All right. Yeah, we're looking great here. Uh, we can make... Oh, you know what we can do? Let's make some rope with all this um, cloth we can't be in. And we're not going to make fertilizer again. We're not going to... We're not going to do any farming. Officer Nate Lever is not a farmer, okay? He does not have a green thumb. His green, his thumb is completely white, and he has no idea how to do any farming. We're gonna, going to ignore that completely. And with the rope and the tape and some of these sticks, I think we can make a pine rifle. Can we make a pine? Oh, you know what, though? I don't think I have the experience. I need crafting one. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close. We're going to be able to make a pine rifle. Unless we find one. If we find one, then we don't need to make it. We don't need to make one, but we haven't found one yet. All right, off we go. Oh wait, stop, Nate. Get out. Don't waste gas. Uh, we're right here. Where should we go? Let's go to Jorkuda Junction, and there might be a train. Actually, there won't be a train there because this map was generated before the trains were added. Darn! Can I destroy this? Maybe we can destroy some of the... Oh, wow, I can't even destroy this thing? That's a pretty tough bike! Yeah, I'd like to get rid of some of these things. Maybe I can crash this car. I'm not even sure how the uh, how the trains spawn. No, no, this doesn't... Look at this, I can wreck... I can wreck a car, but I can't wreck a bike. We'll blow this thing up anyway. Maybe I'll ride the bike into the water. I think that'll work. Yeah, there we go. Uh, do I need the metal? Sure, I'll grab it. Because we can do some repair, and we're going to need it maybe to make the pine rifle. So I do have some logs here. I cut down a tree in the middle of the night for that purpose. Yeah, I'll ride this other bike into the water. And that should get rid of it. And this will give uh, the game a chance to spawn in a train, right? Uh, although, I'm not really sure that's how it works. I'm not sure how the trains spawn. I know you can't spawn them in yourself. That'll go, right? I don't know. I think so. These things are invincible. You can't even chop them up. I know zombies can chew on them, though. Alright, let's go. Hop on, I'm, I'm driving. Let's go to Jorkuta Junction, and maybe there will be a train there. Since we just blew up a couple of cars, that would be kind of cool, but you just never know, right? I think there's a couple of cars up at this camp, too. I could go chop them up. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'd like to get a train, at least to see it. Maybe we'll see one today. Yeah, let me go blow up these cars over here. I'll, I'll axe them to death, and then we'll, uh, we'll continue. So, hold on tight. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Oh, cows. Cows. Three of them. Can I hit them with the bike? Get... No. <laughs> you gotta hit him though. Okay, I'm upside down. I'm upside down. Uh, let's see if I can whack one. Get full speed ahead. Uh, no? I cannot kill the cows with a bicycle. That's good to know. I'd rather run them down because if you stab them, they run. Here we go. Right, this is gonna work out. We're gonna get some cow meat, maybe some milk, and potentially some leather, and we can make. A, uh, a little pouch to put on the bike. That was something I wanted to do. Remember? Whoa! Oh gosh. Here, cow, 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 cow. Boom! And one more. Oh, this is nice. See, hunting, I don't mind hunting. Hunting is uh, legit in the zombie apocalypse, right? If you want to call this hunting. <laughs> I'm sure some people hunt like this in some places. All right, we didn't get any, not a single piece of beef. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, well, let's chop this guy up. And then we'll get some more spawn. Actually, you don't need to chop it. I'm going to drive it right into this camp and get it blowed up. Get it blowed up. Right into this one. Boom. Come on, guys. Chew them all up. Chew them up. Oh, this is dangerous. This is kind of dangerous. Whoa. Oh, I can't even jump up there. Holy smoke! All right, guys, chew it up. Oh no, flamer! Bad. This is bad. Go, go. Okay, they got me a little bit. That was yes, get wrecked, you fool! <laughs> that was awesome. All right, grab the metal. 
And I only have one little scratch to show for it. Yeah. Want a map. And a bow! <gasps> full, full, full. Okay, I gotta get rid of some stuff here. All right, guys, this is about as organized as I can get. I can't put anything in any crates or anything like that because crates would be against the rules, right? So I have to carry everything. And I don't want to drop anything because I think we're going to need all this stuff. I can't repair this compound bow until we get a blowtorch. So maybe we'll find that today at Jer uh, Vorkuta Junction. So that's where we're going to go. And maybe, with luck, we'll find a train along these tracks. So I'm thinking maybe riding here, right? All the way to Vorkuta, loot this place, and then we'll go down this long stretch of track all the way to Zavad and maybe to the military base. So we'll find a train, and if not, we'll at least get to the military base and get some decent weaponry and other loot. And then we'll uh, and then we'll continue with our bike tour. This is kind of a detour, right? Finding the train. It's not really part of a bike tour, but um, I do want to see one. I haven't seen one yet, and I think it would be fun. Just as a uh, kind of a sidetrack. We'll, we'll check out the train and then we'll get back on the bike tour. And I'm wondering if we could put the bike on the train. That would be sick if we could. Whoa, jump of the guardrail. Uh, we'll find out though. I, I seriously doubt it because this is a vehicle and that's a vehicle. But we'll see. Maybe Nelson could add a bike rack to put on vehicles. That would be sweet. Then you could put a bike on your car and uh, take it with you. Yeah, we'll see. All right, up we go. Oh wait, this is the wrong way. Hold on, I gotta go this way, don't I? Isn't that it's that bridge over here? Hold on a sec. Yep, I went the wrong way. Duh. Come on, Nate, get with it. You're a police officer. You should know directions. You should be better with this kind of stuff. Always relying on that GPS. Speaking of GPS, if we find a GPS, we can put one on the bike <laughs> with the GPS mod. And I also want to get a little more cloth, and we can make the um, we can make the little saddlebag and put it on here, so we'll have a, a tiny bit of extra space, but not much. Yeah, crates are off limits in this series, but a little saddlebag isn't going to make that much of a difference. And it'll look kind of cool. Saddlebag on the back and maybe the GPS in front. <laughs> a real bike tour. All right, put the pedal to the metal, Nate. Come on, we ain't got all day. Sun's going to start dropping soon. Let's make sure we're going in the right direction. Yep. All right, tell you what. Let me pedal over to Vorkuta Junction, and I'll meet you guys there. If anything exciting happens along the way, you'll be the first to know. Be right back. Here we are, Vorkuta Junction. So let's see if there is a train here. I see a whole bunch of trains here, but I'm not sure if they actually are drivable, the ones that are here. My guess is it's gonna spawn right on the track somewhere. And I think this is the only track. But let's just have a look around here. Maybe there's one here? I don't know, I don't, it doesn't look like. It's here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's blue. The engine is blue. And it's on the track. So, kill some of these zombies. Maybe we'll find a, um, a blowtorch in here. I can't carry very much. So, we're gonna have to uh, be careful here. Uh, oh, can I make that saddlebag yet? I think I can make the saddlebag. Let me see. Sad. So sad. Yes, we can make the saddlebag pouch. The small one. Let's do it. Uh oh. All right, let's go put it on the bike. <laughs> this is cool. I hope it fits. Hold on, we got company. Wham! <laughs> right up the nose. Bam. Well, we'll see how this, uh, how the, the, the hitbox looks, or whatever it's called. Yeah, wow, it sticks way out and back, doesn't it? Well, it definitely goes on. Maybe we can put it in the front. I, th I imagine the GPS is gonna go in the front, though, if we ever get around to that. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. This doesn't destroy the bike. Oh no! <laughs> it floats out in midair. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. About right there in the handlebars. Holy cow, that's amazing! But let's move it back just a little bit. Yeah, it goes right. You can put it right on the handlebars. Oh, I'm super picky about this. I want to just kind of make sure it's like centered and not too far back. I want it to look just right. That looks awesome! It truly is a bike saddlebag. And can I still ride it? Yeah, I can hold onto the handlebars and everything. Cool. All right, well, let's throw some stuff in here. I don't know what. How about the um, compound bow, since it takes up a lot of space. And I can't repair it until I get a blowtorch. So let's just put that in there. And the leather. Leather, leather, leather. I can make pants, can't I? I think they're better than the fishing bottoms. Can we make the pants? 
I think the pants will be better than the fishing bottoms. Let's see. Let's put them on. Ready? Just drag and drop them. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. We got one extra um, column here. That was pretty nice. All right. I mean, it's not a lot of space, but it's better than nothing. And maybe... Well, hang on to that leather. I'll hang on to it. Maybe we'll make something later with it. All right. Well, I don't see a train here. I think it's going to be on the actual track. So why don't we just loot this place and then uh, maybe we'll call it quits here and find the train in the next episode. I, I might actually record another one right now and have another episode for the weekend. So I'd like to get that train um, looked at, you know, and have like a, not a, a real showcase, but just in one of my videos this weekend. Oh, I'm all out of energy. How are we doing for skill here? 18, not much. I need to hit harder. I mean, we need we need a lot of working out because we <laughs> we're not fast, we're not strong. I can't jump, can't hold my breath long, can't climb. And we're gonna get some water right here too. I forgot that I had that canteen last time we had found a well. Oh yeah, baby, it's empty. Not that we need water. In fact, I could probably drop this because it's dirty and there's a lot of space. We have so much to drink. You know what? Bloop. Get out of here. Don't even need it. Just waste of space, in my opinion. All right. Yeah, good. Now, did we check all the cars? I think we got all the cars. Let's go inside. Maybe find a blowtorch. And we'll kill some folk. Out of the way, zombie. Can I jump in here? Well, hard hat. That'll protect the old noggin. And we could repair it. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll find a better one. Work jeans. I, I think my leather pants are better than the work jeans. Oh, this we can make a, um... Oh, yeah, flare good. A, uh... Bricks we can use to make a vaccine, in case we ever need one. See, this is what the train looks like, I'm pretty sure. This is the engine. But this one's not drivable. All right, I think you're just gonna have to... Whoa, hi! You went all the way around, didn't you? Sneaky little guy. And whammo! And let's fix this up. Let me fix up that helmet. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And I think I'm going to craft some rags here. I need another bandage. Okay, well, let's just check this stuff out of here. A wire. Ooh, can I put barbed wire on the front hey! of my bike? I bet I can. And yeah, then we can wreck some zombies. Just run them right down. Hi. You can't get in here. Can you? Whoa! No. You cannot. Bricks. Grab them. And nails. I can make arrows with the nails, so I should probably snatch a few of those up. Yeah, so let's just call it quits right here for now. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. And hopefully we can find a train. I'm gonna try to get that done today and upload it tomorrow. We'll have two of these unturned episodes right in a row. One after the other. I'm trying to catch up for lost time after losing power. So I'm I'm in, I'm in the mood to record lots and lots and lots. All right, with that said, we're going to go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.